Life Magazine and Hollywood Royalty. If you want to know who the movie stars were, you want to look at a, at a Life Magazine. Well, Time Magazine, too. But a Life Magazine had the most incredible covers. Well, here we're looking at February 1939, Blonde Norma Shearer. And she was like it in those days. You notice another thing that's wonderful to remember about old things is take a look at the prices. When you look at ads, like old menus are very collectible. You'll see, like, I just had an Elvis um, concert menu from the Hilton in Las Vegas. The menu was $9 for steak and lobster. So it just goes to show you, you know, how inflation has just been incredible. But here is a magazine for $0.10, cents, and now magazines of this size probably cost 8 or $9. Um, but anyway, there's the blonde Norma Shear. Now let me just point out a couple things. You notice there's some browning on this page. That means that it's been exposed to a lot of light. There is some damage. We call this the spine. And this spine where the staples are. Now if you're really a purist, if you're really an absolute paper purist, you don't want to see any chips or tears or cracks in the spine. You don't ever want to see the paper severed, absolutely separated from the spine. You also want to take a look at the ads on the back of these magazines are incredible. Look at this. Real silk hosiery. Isn't that absolutely beautiful? That's real silk hosiery where, you know, those are the garter belt days. Those are the days when they had silk. And you remember during World War II, they cut back on using silk because it was a commodity that, that needed to be used. Over here, as we open up these pages, check this out. Ginger Snap Canada Dry Pale Ginger Ale. Now, this is collectible on many, many fronts because, first of all, it's a vintage ad. Canada Dry Pale Ginger Ale obviously isn't made anymore, Pale Ginger Ale. So that bottle is very, very a collectible bottle. That bottle that exists would be very collectible. And you might find a collector who says, I collect, ginger, I collect Canada Dry. So he's going to be looking for this magazine because he collects Canada Dry. And in his collection, there may be that bottle. So he wants to perhaps frame this put it behind the bottle, or he may collect this magazine merely for the date. I had a man come in here the other day. He says, I need a copy of Life from 1942 because there was this picture taken of my boat in the war, and I'm standing there. So I said, I hope I have it. So I look it up. I go in there, and there's that boat. And he says, that's me. And he was so incredibly excited. So there can be a personal interest as well, and, and it's just fabulous when you connect, connect people with their passion, looking for their history in Life magazine.